Hey guys, welcome to our channel, please click the subscribe button, and click the bell icon and never miss another update from Ultimate Java. In this video, we will see what is cloning in Java. What is object cloning in Java? It is one of the methods of the object class. Object cloning means to create a copy or duplicate object using the clone method. In Java, objects are manipulated through reference variables and there is no operator for copying an object. Using assignment operator duplicates the reference, not the object. The clone method provides this missing functionality, how to implement cloning in Java. A class must implement the clonable interface to indicate to the object clone method that it is legal for that method to make a field-for-field -field copy of instances of that class. Clonable is a marker interface so don't have any field or method, JVM will take that responsibility. A marker interface is a common technique to tag classes, they don't add behavior to classes in general. The clonable interface is such a tag every class tagged with clonable is able to clone itself. Invoking objects using the clone method on an instance that does not implement the clonable interface results in the exception clone not supported exception being thrown. By convention, classes that implement this interface should override object clone which is protected with the public method. See object clone for details on overriding this method. Note that this interface does not contain the clone method, therefore it is not possible to clone an object merely by virtue of the fact that it implements this interface. Even if the clone method is invoked reflectively, there is no guarantee that it will succeed. How many types of cloning in Java? Basically two types of cloning dash. Shallow cloning, it is a default behavior, it's a copying the reference pointer to the object which means the new object is pointing to the same memory reference of the old object. The memory usage is lower or in other words creates a new instance of the same class and copies all the fields to the new instance and returns it. Deep cloning, it's not the default so need to implement yourself. It's a copy of the object itself. When the copied object contains some other object its reference are cloned recursively in deep cloning. When you implement deep cloning be careful as you might fall for cyclic dependencies. Let's implement. Let's create a new Java project. To make it simple project name should be cloning. Let's create a new package. The package name should end with clone. Let's create a new class. To make it simple, create an employee class. Add one simple variable called name. Create getter and setter for name. First we'll demo shallow cloning. Let's create a class called shallow cloning. Create the main method inside this class. Now let's create employee class object. Let's print hash high code of this object. Now let's copy this object to the new one using clone method. See there is no clone method available. Even after casting this object still giving an error, we need to implement the clonable interface and override clone method. See the still error is there so now need to handle clone not supported exception. Now print hash high code for the copied object also. Both objects are giving different hash high code, it's a default behavior shallow cloning. Now set name as well for both the object.
and print hash I code for the name as well. After the set name, the name is giving the same hash I code it's because of string pool concept means if the string is already available in the pool then it won't create new. After the change it is giving different hash I code. We still not implemented completely shallow cloning. Now let's create one more class called the department. Now add one variable called name. Create getter and setter for name. Let's add a reference variable of the department and the employee class. Add getter and setter for the department. Print hash I code for the department as well. It's showing null, because not yet created department object. Let's create department object and attach a new object with employee. See both are printing the same hash I code for the department. See now we shallow cloning implemented completely because the reference variable is giving the same hash I code. In shallow cloning or copy object field by field and in case of reference variable does not create new refer existing object only, it's a default behavior of cloning. Deep cloning is not the default one, so need to implement manually. Implement the clone method for the department also. See even after implementing the clone method, still returning the same hash I code. So to implement completely need to follow one additional step. You need to clone child object also. See now reference variable is giving different hash I code. This is called deep cloning, hope you don't forget now. If still have some confusion then read carefully Java document. This is the best place to learn, I explained the same thing in the beginning. The clonable feature is available from JDK 1.0. Let's open object clone method. Creates and returns a copy of this object. The precise meaning of copy may depend on the class of the object. The general intent is that for any object tech, the expression will be true, and that the expression will be true. But these are not absolute requirement. While it is typically the case that will be true, this is not an absolute requirement. By convention, the returned object should be obtained by calling super.clone. If a class and all of its superclasses, except object, obey this convention, it will be the case that x.clone get class equals equals x.get class by convention. The object returned by this method should be independent of this object, which is being cloned. To achieve this independence, it may be necessary to modify one or more fields of the object returned by super.clone before returning it. Typically, this means copying any mutable objects that comprise the internal deep structure of the object being cloned and replacing the references to these objects with references to the copies. 
if the class contains only primitive fields or references to immutable objects, then it is usually the case that no fields in the object returned by the super clone need to be modified. The method clone for class object performs a specific cloning operation. First, if the class of this object does not implement the interface clonable, then a clone not supported exception is thrown. Note that all arrays are considered to implement the interface clonable and that the return type of the clone method of an array type T is T where T is any reference or primitive type. Otherwise, this method creates a new instance of the class of this object and initializes all its fields with exactly the contents of the corresponding fields of this object, as if by assignment, the contents of the fields are not themselves cloned. Thus, this method performs a shallow copy of this object, not a deep copy operation. The class object does not itself implement the interface clonable so calling the clone method on an object whose class is object will result in throwing an exception at runtime. Returns. A clone of this instance throws clone not supported exception. If the object's class does not support the clonable interface, subclasses that override the clone method can also throw this exception to indicate that an instance cannot be cloned. Clone not supported exception thrown to indicate that the clone method in class object has been called the clone an object that the object's class does not implement the clonable interface. Applications that override the clone method can also throw this exception to indicate that an object could not or should not be cloned. Let's see once again whatever we added. Please like and share this video. Subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching.